All right, so I'm going to show you how to hook up a phone box, basically like a Skype box or a SIP service box, uh, any kind of internet phone, and we're going to use your existing phone lines in your house so that we can make this box ring on every phone in the house uh, just like it would if you had a landline. A lot of people I know have a Skype or something and they'll have like one phone that basically runs a Skype and that's the only phone they can use and that's like if they install it themselves so I'm gonna show you how to install this yourself and what to do to make it work on the existing lines in the house uh, so if you want to get rid of your analog line and go internet phone this is how you do it alright so what you want to do first is locate the telephone box where the telephone lines come into the house from the telephone company. Mine is beside my power meter. And here it is. It says telephone on it. Usually it's a small box. Um, pretty easy to find most of the time. Um, but if it has like a little lock on it, it'll be like this little cheap thing. You can cut it off with a pair of pliers or something. But uh, this is what it'll look like in America and uh, all I did was uh, unplug this because this is the this is the wire that kind of runs inside from under the house now you can just take off the positive if you want uh, you know that's an easy way to do it um, but that pretty much disconnects the the phones from the wire that is connected out here so it's like the run to the city. Um, that's the first thing you want to do is just disconnect that, but uh, make sure that you like leave everything intact, just in case you ever want to go back to the phone system. So you ever you ever want to go back to an analog line, uh, you can. All you have to do is go back out, screw it back in. You know, you could even write, you know, on the back of the panel like what you unhooked. So you can hook back up and then call the phone company, get a line, and that's it. But that's the line that runs into the house. So now what we want to do is go to the room where your uh, computer is that has uh, your Skype box or, you know, where that is. And we're going to hook that up. All right, so this is the, uh, the network box for the phone, which is for Skype. And as you can see, it's got a... Ethernet and a phone jack on the other end of it. Sorry about the wiring. It's a bit messy in here. And basically we're going to run the Ethernet side to the router and we're going to run the phone jack to a splitter and then plug the splitter into the, uh, the phone jack on the wall where you would normally plug in your analog phone. Alright, so the easiest way to do this is to get a splitter. So what we have here is like a little cheap phone splitter. This you're going to plug that in. On this side you can plug in the phone that you're going to have in the room that you're in, wherever your internet service is. And on this side is where you're going to plug in the, uh, the little phone router. And being that it's plugged into the actual uh, wall plate and we are disconnected from the city uh, outside of the house, it's actually just going to push our internet phone throughout the house using the existing wiring that's in the house. So it's very simple and uh, that's pretty much how you do it and pretty much once you've done this it should work fine like all the phones in the house should ring whenever somebody calls and if you make a call from any of the phones they should work it's going to feed back through all right hope that helps you guys out take it easy